Welcome to Drew Pearson Live. I am the original number 88, Drew Pearson, and what a show we have lined up for you today. My special guest, well, he won three Super Bowls with your Dallas Cowboys. That's right, Darren Woodson is in the house with us today. Plus, you're not going to want to miss the Ghostbuster interview with Ernie Hudson, and he stops by to tell us what he's up to these days. And our Hail Mary heroes this week are fighting cancer through sports. And they're here to tell us how we can join the fight. That's all coming up on Drew Pearson Live. But first, here's your Dallas Sports Report. The Dallas Mavericks have not had a good start to their 2015 playoff campaign. After dropping game one, 118 to 108, the Mavericks looked to rebound Tuesday night, but failed miserably. Dirk and Monte shot a combined 11 for 37 from the floor. And star point guard Rajon Rondo, well, he was benched in the second half. If the trend continues, you can expect big changes for this team in the offseason. The 2015 NFL schedule has been released, and your Dallas Cowboys will open the season at home against those dreaded New York Giants, followed by a road game at Philly and the return of DeMarco Murray. That should be interesting. The rest of the season looks to be favorable, especially in December, with their final three opponents posting a combined 17 and 31 record last season. If they can make it through the early start of the season, they should be able to close out strong once again. And have the Texas Rangers bats finally come around? Well, Prince Fielder seems to think so. Fielder snapped his homerless streak on the way to the Rangers' 7-1 victory over the Diamondbacks on Tuesday, driving in three runs on two hits, including the two-run jack. If the Rangers can get him going for the rest of the season, then the offense should be sure to follow. Sports Week is up next, so stick around because Drew Pearson Live starts, hmm, I think it's uh, right about now. Hook, hook! Drew Pearson Live is brought to you by Whataburger. The Honey Mustard What a Chicken Club is a tangy twist on a tasty classic. Enjoy it while you can, only at Whataburger. I told you I'd be at the sports desk, and I'm joined by Matt Thornton. And Matt is the sports editor for the Dallas Entertainment Journal. Matt, thanks for taking the time to be with us. Let's get right to it. we got so much sports to cover. First, let's talk about the team in the playoffs right now, the Dallas Mavericks. What's going to happen with these guys? Well, yeah, and thank you for having me, Drew. I'm really excited to be here. I'm, I'm worried. I yeah, really am. Too. They, they are really struggling. Uh, turnovers have been a thing that they've really struggled with. Yeah. And they, you know, James Harden, a lot of people believe, is the MVP of the league this year. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, they don't have any answer for James Harden right now. No. I mean, they, they, they can't stop him. Mm -hmm. They don't have that defensive stopper. Yeah. Uh, Dirk hasn't been scoring like he needs to. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they just struggles everywhere. And then a big, really an incredible disappointment, in my opinion, uh, Rajan Rondo. Yeah, I can't understand. What? I mean, you know, he comes in, they make a big trade. Yeah. He's supposed to be kind of the floor general, distribute the ball, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, be kind of that leader. And he's really exhibiting ulterior the leadership opposite. skills. Yeah. Exactly. The opposite exactly. of what they brought him in here to do. That's exactly right. And I just don't understand it. it everything's about attitude, mm -hmm. you know? Even if you don't want to be here, this is you. When you step between the lines on that court, this is your credibility on the line. Yeah. And, you know, you're playing a playoff game in a national audience, and you act like that in a playoff situation? Yeah. That's not good for you. It's really not, and it's, it's just it's disappointing. And, yeah. and, he's all, and the other thing that's tough about him is he's really become an offensive liability. Mm -hmm. When they run that pick and roll, uh, the, the, the teams are not sliding to him. They're daring him to shoot, and right. he's missing. Yeah. You know, and so it's just, it's really, really yeah. tough. Yeah, and he's had to pick it up. He could be the scapegoat here, but all the other guys have to pick it Agreed. up as well. Absolutely. You know, this Absolutely. is not just a one-man problem that they're dealing with, but a team problem. Their chemistry doesn't seem to be there. And I said, Matt, when they brought in Rondo, they were rolling pretty good. They had the number one or two offense they did. in the NBA. Absolutely. He came in and it's disrupted that. You it really thought did. it was going to be a positive as it 
turned out, it turned out to be a negative. Yeah. negative. Let's yeah. talk about some Cowboys. Hey. The new schedule's come out. Oh, man. Now we oh. know what's going on and who's going to play. We open up oh. with the New York Giants. I'm working out now. I'm trying to get ready for that because I want some of those New York <laughs> Giants, man. What do you think about the schedule, I Matt? love it. I love it. <laughs> I, I mean, know. prime time New York Giants in, you know, in our house, going yeah. to AT&T Stadium. It's beautiful. Yes. You got George Selvey. Dwayne Harris, some of the ex-players oh, yeah, coming back. Oh, yeah, that's right. right. They're so going to be they, fired up. They're going to be fired up. And it's, we're going to be fired up to get them, exactly. too. Exactly. It's going yeah. to be a nice deal. Nice. And then, of course, week two, wow. uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia Eagles. And, and you know, i got to be honest. You, you played with some amazing quarterbacks, mm -hmm. obviously, in, in your days. Yeah, absolutely. What is, the, what is the Eagle quarterback situation right now? <laughs> I mean, they've got, they've got Sam Bradford, Mark Sanchez, Matt Barkley, and they just signed... Tim Tebow. I know. I mean, I, w w it's a circus well, over here's there. here's the problem. Chip Kelly didn't know I played quarterback in high school. <laughs> in two years of college, he'd be signing me right now. <laughs> He's signing everybody. But I heard uh, some uh, news today that they might be using Bradford as a chip for a draft pick right. or a trade right. and trying to get Mariota in there, another quarterback. And, and, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, I mean, and, 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 I mean, Bradford, with his injury history, yeah. I mean, who's going to give up a, a first rounder for Bradford right, right now? I just, right. I just don't see it happening. So, yeah. boy, that circus out there is. Well, you know. I can't wait till that. Uh, you know, we got to get by the Giants first, but I can't wait to that Philadelphia game because the media, the national media, is going to be all over that yep. because now with Demarco being DeMarco up there Murray, and that yep. type of thing, yep. it's going to be awesome. It's a rivalry anyway. Now yeah. it becomes more of a rivalry because we got a former Cowboy up there now playing for the Eagles. Exactly. Quickly, a uh, Scandrick. Not working out. Dez yeah. is not part of the offseason stuff. Did we expect this? No, no, I did not yeah, at all. I, didn't I mean, it, it with he's always been, uh, you know, J uh, Jason Garrett talks about the right kind yeah. of guy. Yeah. And he's always been a right kind of guy. This is very contrary to what he's typically mm -hmm. acted. Mm -hmm. I'm very surprised. I'm yeah, very surprised. I am too. Yeah. Well, let's switch gears before we uh, run out of time. Talk sure. a little bit about the Rangers. They've been roller coastering things. Very you know, much the so. Kitchen's been up and down. One guy, though, Nick Martinez, man, this guy has really been uh, throwing. Thank God he's on that staff. Otherwise, yeah. I don't know what we do. But not only that, Prince Fielder's bat has come alive. Exactly. And, man, we're glad to see that as well. That's exactly right. And, and you know, the interesting thing about the Rangers, you said up and down, and that's, that's exactly right. Um, what, they, they don't have an identity. Right. You know, when, yeah. when Ron Washington was here, they were small ball. You know, they were gritty. You knew what you were going to get with mm -hmm. the team, right? Right. And with, with Jeff Bannister, you just don't know. I, I, I don't know yet. What right. is this team? Are they they're, they're struggling with pitching? Are they going to go small? Are they going to go long ball? What, what are they going to try to play? What's right. the, you know, and it, their scheme is, is difficult to understand for yeah, me right now. i tell you the truth, man. I don't think they know yeah. yet what I, they want to be. I still think they're searching for yeah. their, their identity. I agree, and it's, and it's reflecting in their play. And, you know, the, the nice thing about it, the, the, the silver lining in, in how they're playing right now is that the AL West, nobody right. has distanced themselves. Right. So right now, everybody's kind of struggling in the AL West. <laughs> yeah. So it's, you know, it's like, you know, hey, they're, they're, they're not doing too bad right now. Right so. on, and just long as we stay away from Josh Hamilton, I think the Rangers <laughs> yeah, will be all yeah, right. I don't yeah. think we need to mess with that yeah, again. I, I, they don't, yeah, they should they're be done. glad they were able to wash their hands of that and chapter move on. Right? Exactly. Hey, yeah. Matt, good Completely. stuff, man. Hey, Thanks one, for one, one question for you, right. Drew. Before we, before we, so the Dallas Sidekicks are holding an open tryout on May 14th at the Soccer Spectrum in Richardson. Uh -huh. you're, you're a fit guy. I mean, you, you, I feel like you could jump out and play. So you have any soccer, uh, desire to play soccer and maybe go out and try out for the sidekicks? Or? Uh, none whatsoever. <laughs> But, but let me tell you, if I did, I'd be in the goal. I'd be in the net. You'd be the, the keeper. everything, you know, I don't drop nothing. I'm, okay? I'm, yeah, I'd be I'm, eating that big old soccer ball up. You know, I catch a little football. You see what I could do with a soccer ball. I love it. I <laughs> right love on, Matt. Good stuff, man. Through. Coming up later on the show, my good friend, former Dallas Cowboy, number 28, Darren Woodson, is in the house, and he'll be joining us. But first, you're going to want to call somebody when the Ghostbusters come to town. That might be Ernie Hudson. He's in the house as well, and we'll hear from him next.